Hello, everybody. Hello, hello. How are you? Welcome to Wednesday's training. Happy to be with all of you. I am hoping that I get to see some of your cute little faces. I know that we are right before the New Year's. And so um, a few things while you all are trickling in, I just want to share a few things with those of you who are trickling in with me, but let me make sure that nobody bothers me today. Do not disturb lovely. We don't want any of those dings and dongs. So um, as a few things, a few things that I want well that I want to share. Um, I want to remind those of you who are joining that this is my business page. So if you have private things that you don't want anybody to know when I do my Wednesdays calls, please don't share anything that doesn't feel comfortable for you because it can be seen because this is my business page. This is not my inner circle private group. So I just want to make sure you're aware of that. I want to be protecting your privacy. If you don't want to be sharing anything that is private, you don't want anybody else to know about. The other thing I want to mention and bring your attention to is starting on in January next week, I'm going to be leading a course inside of the inner circle called free your mind step into food and body freedom. So many of you tell me that you want food and body freedom. <laughs> yeah, I say, what do you want? And you tell me the first thing I almost always hear is I want to just feel at peace. I want to lose weight, but I want to feel at peace with my body. I want to have food and body freedom. And so one of the things that a lot of times then you do when you try to lose weight is you put all these rules into place. <laughs> it's the opposite of the food and body freedom that you want to have. And so I am going to walk you through a process looking at what is food and body freedom look like for you and what and you know and let's work through any beliefs where you feel like you can't have a smaller body and have food and body freedom. A lot of times you think that it's not possible and that's what's tripping you up. So during this course, I'm gonna go deep into thinking about and helping you step into what food and body freedom looks like for you. And then you're gonna notice as you're developing this, oh, my brain likes to go here, or oh, I like to do this, or oh, this feels out of control. We're gonna bring you in and have you work through it. So if you would like to join me for that inner circle training, and be part of the experience, I encourage you to reach out to me, DM me, um, get in touch with Kate at kate at thinwithin.com. Let us know. I'll also have a link to get registered. I'll have that available to you um, in the podcast so that you can be part of the inner circle and join me for this course. One of the things that's so cool about the inner circle is that I'm looking always at what you all need, what you all crave. I always ask all my members first, and then that informs my decision about what I wanna train on and teach on. So looking at things like trauma and abuse and control, we're gonna look at all of these things this year. I have a full plate of courses that I'm excited to serve all of you with. And so I think you're gonna really enjoy that. So get registered if you would like to be part of that starting in January. And so what I thought today I would do is give you a taste of the type of course that we're gonna go through, the type of work I wanna do with all of you inside of the inner circle. So you could get a taste of this and really start to think about as you're going into 2021, what is it that you wanna be thinking about, doing, acting, and creating for your body and your life as you move into this next chapter of the next year? which I'm so excited to have 2020. I mean, I've loved 2020, not that I've loved that there's been a coronavirus, but I've loved all of you and my connection to so many of you. So that's been the biggest gift for me. So I'm excited to then take that and move into 2021, hopefully with a lot of health and happiness oh, for so many of you. Okay. So let's talk about this be, do, have framework and let's start getting you really starting to take action around it so you can start seeing some different types of results for your body, some better, some easier, some faster results. 
Now, let's go, let's go kind of back and look at how most of the time people come to the be, do, have framework. A lot of times people think that in order to have the body you want, you have to start getting into action. You have to start doing all those things. All right. And then a lot of people come from it with the have and then the do and then the be. I don't like it like that. I don't think that works as well for your mind and your brain. Because here's the thing. When you start telling yourself what you have to do, that doesn't cause food and body freedom inside of you, does it? If you start saying, here's all my have tos, what does that create? Anxiety, stress, more to do's than you already have. That doesn't inspire weight loss. That doesn't create a, a really positive link inside of your mind that says, oh, I can't wait to lose weight. This is so good feeling. I feel so inspired. No, it does the opposite. So when you come from lots of half twos, it does the exact opposite of having you experience food and body freedom. And that's always where um, diets tend to lend itself to do is it says, okay, here's the things you have to do. And then you'll get the body you want. It, our brain starts resisting, our body starts resisting, our mind starts resisting, our, our life starts resisting. And I know some of you can relate to this, yeah? Yeah, <laughs> right? Some of this, you could go, yes, I've done that over and over and over and over. All right, so let's change that today. Let's come from this in the be, do, have framework. So let's get clear of who you want to be. For those of you who are saying, I want food and body freedom, what does that look like? Have you even explored that as to what that means in your life? And I want you to share with me a little bit about what does that look like for you? I want to hear, what does food and body freedom look like for you? And I want to hear. And while I am sharing and listening and waiting to see what you all post, I want to share the fact that, as a side note, I want to congratulate Miss Kate. She has lost a ton of weight. She's lower the lowest. She thought she would have to diet forever. And she just shared with me yesterday, you are doing awesome, girl. And you are more than welcome to share with everybody how much you weigh. Like, you are doing so well. I am so proud of you. Congratulations. Congratulations. And what you should know about Kate is she's like, it doesn't look perfect. No. But you have so many patterns, so many ways of thinking and being and acting that have worked for you. Congratulations. But that's more of what you're doing. And that's why you've seen the body and the results that you've seen. So congratulations. Hello, Miss Paula. Hello, Kathy. Hi, Teresa. Hi, Janie. Hello, Miss Kathy. I love seeing you here. And Roberta, great. I'm so glad you could show up. Hi, Miss Karen. So, okay. So I want to know, tell me, what is it, when you think about the be, do, have, who are you being? Who are you being as a result of who are you being in the body that that has food and body freedom and is at your desired weight? Are you being kind to yourself? Are you saying nice words and phrases to yourself? Are you, oh, I love this, Roberta, you're not attached to a diet or a fitness program that will allow you to travel and eat and do what I want and still look and feel amazing. Yes, I love that. I love that. Not being attached to a diet. Now, this doesn't mean that you're not you're, you're not choosing to be somebody who chooses to have vegetables and whole foods in your life. I definitely have that as part of who I want to be and how I want to be and how I want to show up. Kathy, you said eating out without stressing over the menu. Put on clothes in my closet without strategically covering up. That is beautiful, beautiful. So then what I want you to think about is when you are thinking about what that actually looks like, let's put that in the positive. So eating out and enjoying 
and seeing the menu and seeing all the opportunities that you can have and you can eat or seeing freedom when you go to a restaurant and you see the choices and you're just like, oh, all of these are great for me. And let me look at which one feels the best. Right. So let's turn that around or going into your closet, putting on clothes that you deem beautiful, that fit your body beautifully, that you feel comfortable in and that make you feel gorgeous. Right. So let's look at see, it's amazing. Even in saying, who do you want to be? There's this negative piece around um, covering up. Right eating out without stressing, right? So your brain hears, oh, let's stress over the menu. <laughs> let's strategically cover up, S right? So we wanna look at, okay, what do you really, this is good, this is great practice for your brain. So let's look at this. I'm joyous, carefree, not burdened by fighting myself to change. Okay, same thing, Brenda. I want you to look at, this is perfect. When you said I'm joyous, carefree, that is what I wanna see. And what is then, write out, what is then the opposite of feeling burdened by fighting yourself to change? Relax, light, it's enjoyable. You're having so much fun on the journey of transformation. You're loving eating a variety of foods that taste good, that feel good in your body. The Be Do Have has changed my life. I'm a cyclist now and I act like that. I have riding clothes and can comfortably go out in them. Karen, you have changed your life this year. A big congratulations. Roberta, the same. So many of you have like recreated. Like Karen is now a cyclist. Like that's her identity now. But it did not start out that way. She was like, hmm, what would be fun to do? Hmm, who? what would be fun to do? How, like, hmm, who do I want to be? Oh, I want to be somebody who's outside a lot and moves my body. And then she started trying out some different things. She wasn't attached to being in the water. COVID changed and then she's like, okay, hmm, I have a bike in my garage. Let me just go for a bike ride. You didn't say, let me go for 10 miles, right? She didn't start having the, the, the like have to's she started going hey who do i want to be somebody who enjoys movement and somebody who's outside okay so she then was like all right i'm gonna go for a ride now she's able to do 30 miles 40 miles i don't know how many 50 like she's able to go crazy she's got clippings she's got the whole outfit now she is a cyclist that's her new identity she did it but through the be do have so who do you want to be? Who are you being? I want food to be a non-issue. I eat only when I'm hungry and don't panic if food is available right away. I eat for nutrition, not entertainment. I enjoy so many things in life. Awesome. I feel that joy and that energy. And I want to look at some words that your brain like takes, takes hold of. Um, like the don't panic. Let's remove that. I eat when I, only when I'm hungry. I know that I can get food when my body's hungry and I feel really confident and relaxed about it. Instead of the, using the word panic, Kathy, I eat for nutrition, not entertainment. Right. I eat to fuel my body. I eat for nutrition. Let's get out the ed entertainment because your brain will hear entertainment. I eat for entertainment too. Nutrition and entertainment. I eat so many things in my life. I enjoy, sorry. I was like, I eat so many things in my life. I enjoy so many things in my life. Yes, I have lots of other joys, so many joys in my life. That is awesome. And then what I would do, Kathy, is start looking at what are those joys? Where are they? Where can they be found? Freedom from being self-conscious of my weight and no more plus sizes. Okay, so let's change this around. I'm wearing amazing beautiful clothes right now that fit my body and I am excited to get into a size 8, 10, 12, whatever it is, right? I feel so confident in my skin. So let's go into that. I want to be someone that doesn't need to worry about everything I eat and continue to exercise and I want to be a naturally thin person. So great. 
So then we're going to go into the positive. I want to be, I am somebody, I am crafting and creating a naturally thin me. I walk the walk, I talk the talk, I think the thoughts. I take good care of myself mentally, emotionally, physically. Do you see that difference? So when you're creating your B, do you have, when we're starting with this B, I want you to be really careful to make it only positive. That your brain doesn't hear things like so I, I don't like self-consciousness, worry, avoid. Your brain just wants, I want you to focus your brain only in the positive and in the present. I'm creating, I'm being, I'm doing, I'm feeling alive and healthy and vibrant. And I choose foods that make me feel and look amazing. I'm working my way to getting into that size six pair of jeans that I am so excited to walk around it and feel so confident in. See, that gives your mind very clear positive direction and excitement and energy and joy. That is food and body freedom. That is food and body freedom. Now, if you want to hunker down this even more, you activate your three dominant senses, right? What do you see yourself doing? How are you, how are you, what are you hearing yourself say to yourself? What does it feel like to be that person? Right? Getting really clear of the being, the being. And sometimes, here's the cool part. Sometimes it's just like, like what Karen said, I want to be somebody who moves my body. And then we started seeing, oh, Karen was like, oh, I'm somebody who loves being outside. So then it was like, oh, okay, biking and outside. Oh, I actually really loved going for a ride. Oh, fun. Okay, I think I'm going to go for another one because it was so much fun. It didn't come from pain. She didn't say, I have to do this this week. These are my have tos. I have to ride some. No, she was just like, let me just go. Let me just go. And it was, it started being fun. And that fun became more fun. And then it became, oh, you know what? I think I'm going to sign up with a, a riding group. I think I'm going to ask my family if they want to go riding with me. I think I'm going to go get some clothes. Hey, I'm actually going to go into clip -ins. Oops, I just fell. Oops, I just fell again. Oops, that's okay. I'm just going to get right back up. Oop, I fell. And then I'm going to learn how to do clip -ins. That's the magic of just when you start to be that person. And it doesn't have to be even so like every single second, like every, you don't have to define it. You have to be committed to being that person. She was committed to being a person who showed up for herself, kept showing up and wanted to be outside and moving her body. She wasn't attached to exactly how that was going to work and how that was going to look. She was just attached to, hmm. and then she said, that was fun. I want to do that again. And little by little, the length, the speed, everything picked up. And even when she talks today, and I hope it's okay that I'm sharing this, it's amazing how when you still talk, you share things like, okay, the wind is really hard. Like that's an area that I am learning to love, even in her Thinking and speaking, it's in the be do have. It's who do I want to be? I want to be somebody who's not stopped by the wind, and I want to be somebody who can start loving and enjoying how the wind works in my, you know, with me when I bike. You are so amazing in that way. Such an amazing transformation. So, who are you being? Who are you all wanting to be? And if you just know you want to be somebody who moves more, that is amazing. Do you want to do that inside or outside? Do you not even care? That is positive enough to be, I just want to move and enjoy it. I want to have fun moving. I want to have fun at my meals. I want to feel free to eat the foods I really want to eat at my meals. Because you know what food and body freedom isn't? It's not feeling like you have to hide and sneak eat and watch everything and count everything and feel like it's painful. 
what food and body freedom is, is it's like, yeah, I can eat whatever I want. And sometimes I'm going to choose foods that make me look and feel better. Because when I eat those foods, it doesn't make me feel as good. And so, you know what, I'm going to choose from a really powerful place to be somebody who, who is going to eat this today. Because that actually makes me feel and look really amazing. So from the B place, then when that is really clear in your mind of who you want to be, how you want to be at restaurants, how you want to show up in the world, from there we go into the do. From that place, then that inspires the do, the actions, because that is then, oh, okay. I want to be somebody, right? Like a B for me is I want to be somebody who eats only when I'm hungry, that like loves eating when I'm hungry, loves stopping when I'm satisfied. Love that. So from that, it, from that place, that informs my decision about when to eat. Okay, next time I'm hungry, I'll eat. And I'll eat the foods that make my body look and feel its best. And that means that I will incorporate vegetables. And I'll incorporate whole foods. And I'll also have some takeout sometimes. And I'll also have some restaurant eating. And I'll also have a lot of other things because that to me is food and body freedom. And if that changes where I go, I don't want any restaurants or I don't want fast food or I don't ever have that, in, fine. That's the evolution of health and vitality of being that person. It evolves. We don't have to force it on ourselves. It can evolve because once you start feeling really good and you're saying nice things and you're stepping into who you want to be from there, then you're going to layer on health and nutrition and all these things because you want to. Karen went from then going, oh, I'm going to actually have an app and I'm going to track how far I'm going. And now every month I want to hit so many miles. She didn't do it through force. She did it through layering on, layering on, okay? It is true brain retraining, absolutely. And so it does, this B part requires repetition. It does require you to continue to have that visual, mental, gut into that state in the morning of who do you want to be? And then from that place, then acting as such, doing, taking actions. Now, if you start seeing that your actions are making you feel resistant, they're not the right actions. That's how you know. If you start fighting with these actions, oh, I really wanna be somebody who's a runner, but every time I run, I hate it. Mm, maybe we should look at a different, <laughs> different way of showing up and being. You start seeing if there's a lot of resistance, then your B that you've created needs a little fine tuning or the actions that come out of the B, the do needs to be adjusted, okay? So that you start to have this nice alignment from your B should be actions, should have actions that you are excited about, that align with who you wanna be, going for walks every day, that's, if that feels better than some hard exercise, then start with the walk and then you move it, move it, move it to the ultimate goal. We've got all the time. We've got time to become big old bodybuilder lifters, whatever you want. Okay? It takes that time. So make sure that the things that you're doing feel inspiring and that there's not a lot of resistance. If you have resistance, then it may be time to really do the inner work. And that's what we're going to do in the course is looking at some of this inner work where you say, oh, I want to have food and body freedom. Here's what it looks like to me. And then, oh, wait, I say I want this, but there's resistance here. Yeah, we got to walk work through that. Okay, it's either not the right B or you're doing things that are not that are out of alignment right now for you that you want to do, but maybe right now, you're not feeling inspired to do right now. So that's the end game. That's where we're working towards, right? That can be, that can be just right there hanging out as your ultimate goal, but right now there's resistance. So we know we need to back it up. Does that make sense? I hope that makes sense to everybody. 
And then here's the, here's the amazing thing. The amazing thing is that when you be and you do, then you have. Then you have. You have weight loss. You have mind and body freedom with food, with restaurants, with clothes, with what you see in the mirror. That's the evolution of this process. It's starting with the be though. If you don't know who you want to be, you're not clear of being light and lean and healthy and body freedom and all of that that you want and what that actually looks like to you. And you start with then all the have to's and shoulds. And this year I'm going to, I'm going to make a plan. I'm going to have to do this. I must do this. And right, then that puts pressure. You want to do the opposite. You've already put enough pressure on yourself in your life to lose weight, haven't you? So share with me a few of your do's. Share with me what some of the do's look like. As you're being that person, what are some do's that you don't feel any resistance inside of your body when you think of doing some of these things from the place of who you want to be? I'd love to hear from so many of you. Tam, do we put together statements that are in the present rather than the future? It can be present and or future. It's fine. It's like, who do you want to be? I want to be somebody who eats only. I guess I have it a lot of times in my present. And then what can be is like, it's kind of like that stretch goal where you go, okay, but being this person will lead to, and that's like the future. Feeling food and body freedom, feeling alive, feeling light and lean. Yeah, I like it in the I like it in the present tense. I like it in the present tense. Because what this does is it doesn't make it this thing out here, it brings it in. Right? And we we then start to be in today, not tomorrow. Not when the new year starts. <laughs> I love that. Not Monday. I'll just wait till Monday. I'll just wait till I know I'm not going to eat much <laughs> or whatever. We wait. I'll wait till the kids are back in school. I'll wait. No, start being that person now. Being it. So I like it in the present tense. Yeah. Um, Janie, you said I'm going to bike and walk or two things I do without resistance. Then that is perfect. That's what I want you to do. Biking, walking, beautiful. That aligns, does that align and, in, in, and inspire inside of you being that person who is healthy and beautiful and free from worrying about every little morsel, right? Does it feel fun and enjoyable to you? Yes, it is fun. Good, good. Awesome, awesome. So that's what I want to see you creating and manifesting inside of the space of the be do have principle for losing weight. Because when you're clear of who you want to be and I want you to really look through what you want to, who you want to be. And I want you to erase, cross out, get rid of anything that's negative. Like, so I don't look like this. I want to be beautiful and not feel, get rid of not feel, you know, and not feel self-conscious. Get rid of not feeling self-conscious. In front of you should be who you are being who you want to be. And when you read it, it is all positive. It is all the words and the phrases that you want to say to yourself. And you've been having a hard time saying it, what you want to see, and you may be having a hard time seeing it, what you want to feel, and what you might be having a hard time feeling as of late. Okay, so it's it's like, imagine a vision board, and you just see these images of things that you want 
and that inspire you. It's kind of the same thing. Now you are more than welcome to create a vision board that aligns with who you want to be and really creating that in a really meaningful, intentional way. And the same thing, I want to make sure that let's say you put running on there and every time you run, you're like, I hate this. So then let's take off running. Let's put on walking or Zumba, right, Teresa? Let's put on something that inspires you that's like, yeah, that's what I want. That's what, and then you place it somewhere. You put your vision board or the statement somewhere and you see it. The morning ritual of activating who you want to be today, tomorrow, into 2021 and live out 2021 is imperative. Because if you create this and then you move away from it and you allow your old thinking and ways to feel about your body and you start going into old habits and brain patterns, which your brain wants to do to keep you safe, of course, then you don't have a practice to re-engage and reignite your brain to be the person you want to be so that you can have the body, the life, the freedom with food that you've been craving. You can have freedom with food and lose weight. All y'all who have lost, I see so many of you on here that have lost 30, 30 pounds plus, 25 pounds, 15 pounds, 18 pounds, 60 pounds, 30 pounds. Uh, so many of you have been on this journey and you know it's re-engaging. That's why you keep showing up. You keep listening. You keep this conversation alive in your head because you know the power and it's changed your body. It's changed your lives. So amazing work, everybody. I want to tell you that your ability to keep showing up and taking this in and then not just hearing my information, but then using it into, into your life is why Kate's the thinnest she's been. <laughs> is why Roberta's lost so much weight. And all of you have just stepped into your amazing, amazing lives and bodies and you continue this journey Kathy like you showing up so much lately has been awesome I can totally see Teresa the same like I don't want to leave any of you out Tam you as well like you keep showing up it is amazing amazing Andrea so happy to see you I didn't see that you were on wait wait I, and here you are so happy to see you yes Hypnotherapy can play into this principle also. Heck yes. My hypnotherapy is inside of the inner circle. Absolutely just will play into that. We heard that from one of our inner circle members who's been replaying Miss Wendy. She's been replaying them over and over and over and over. And she's lost a lot of weight. And she said she uses them all the time. So absolutely. Because what that does... You can even do, and if you don't, aren't part of the inner circle, I totally understand. One of the things that you can do is you can record your voice saying the B component, right? You can just hear it. I am somebody who, da, 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 and you read it out. You can lay at night and just hear it. Or in the morning, hear it. Hear yourself say it. It works especially well before any of those three o'clock, four o'clock, eight o'clock, nine o'clock, 10 o'clock cravings in the evening. Hearing that will, will help your brain go, okay, I've got a little bit left of my energy to just now I'm excited to keep on this path. No, maybe I won't late night eat just because. <laughs> okay. So I am so proud of all of you. Really beautiful job. Teresa, you keep showing up like crazy as well. The dedication, I'm so grateful your dedication to me, to your process, to slimming down without dieting, without struggle, without force. Is it always easy? No. 
but you know that the brain work that we do makes it so much easier. And it's so fun and it's so therapeutic to get into these, to really see what's happening inside of your mind and to know that you have the power to make changes. Make amazing changes. <laughs> Teresa, 46 pounds down. Amazing, amazing. So beautiful. So I encourage you, be, do, have. This is how we're gonna sort of start this formula. We're starting this formula for your food and body freedom course. It gets you really thinking about what food and body freedom looks like for you so that you can step into this. And then we're gonna look at what you can do to keep stepping in and what happens as you're really deciding what food and body freedom looks like for you in your ideal weight so as you're losing weight, still holding the space for food and body freedom and thinking, oh, wait, I can lose weight and have food and body freedom weight. My brain's not sure about that. My cognitive, my um, conscious brain isn't sure about that. It thinks I need to have a lot of rules and a lot of counting calories and structure. And so I'm not feeling super comfortable with this. Then we work through some of those areas and, and ways of being. Okay. Thank you for loving me. I adore you too. So be, do, have. And then look at it. Look at it through this. Look at now. You created your be. Now go walk into today and into the rest of the day, holding the space for really being that person. Sometimes, and it gives me goosebumps. Sometimes all you have to do is just hold the space for your being being successful, being a certain weight, being the person who has food and body freedom and is losing weight and feeling amazing. Just holding that space allows for you to then do and feel excited to do whatever it is that aligns with that. And that is when you know you have true food and body freedom. And that is what I'm so excited to lead you through and on because I want to see that you are moving towards that and that you're staying on that path. And that's what the journey is going to look like. So I encourage all of you um, to keep inspiring yourself through reading your B. Okay? That's all you have to do. Just be. All right? Get clear of who you want to be. Get rid of all those negatives and just read it. Feel it, see it, let it really sink into you. Really get really clear of who you want to be and what food and body freedom looks like for you. All right. Have yourself an amazing New Year's. We are doing fondue night over at the Thal House. We're going to do cheese fondue this time. We tried the other fondue. It was a little, we tried a lot of veggies and, and meats and whatnot. It worked out okay. We're, we're this is our 2.0 version. So we are gonna have um, we are gonna have fondue because my son thinks fondue is about the coolest thing ever. So we're gonna get ready for fondue night, and um, that's all we're doing. Maybe zooming a few friends. So sending you lots and lots of love. Have an amazing, amazing New Year's, and then I'll be with all of you in 2021. All right, everybody, sending you lots of love. Mwah. Bye.